Uh, he is, was uh, an American romantic composer, born in New York City into a Quaker family. Um, he left the States and went to France to study music, and then he got tired of France and he went to Germany. And he met his wife there. She was a student of his, and they secretly got <coughs> married. Um, and then, uh, then they had a more formal ceremony. Mm -hmm. But that's neither here nor there. So <laughs> then they, uh, they moved back to the States and they settled in New Hampshire, in, in the woods of New Hampshire. And um, that is where uh, many of his nature pieces were written, and that includes his Opus 51 history. It was established in 1907. So if any of you are ever out in New Hampshire, you might want to check that out. Johannes Brahms uh, German, is a German composer. He lived at a time where German Romanticism was going in a new direction. Brahms did not feel comfortable with this new direction and wanted to express his music using the old classical ways. He received much criticism by some, but others respected and loved his music because he breathed new life into the traditional. Brahms himself, although did not want to go in the new path, had the utmost respect for composers who did. Composers like Richard Wagner, and Franz Liszt. Brahms most famous works are his larger ensemble pieces, such as symphonies and concerti, but his songs have a great purpose in the German leader literature. He wrote songs throughout his life, setting music to texts by lesser known poets. Some composers put great emphasis on the text before the music, but Brahms always put the beauty of the music before the text. Our song choices today and I am going to butcher the German. Okay, so <laughs> you do. Uh, Stemchen <laughs> means serenade, a term coined in the 17th century used to describe a work accompanied by a guitar. This is a poem about young love. Three, we, we assume three male students are outside a window of a lady. They are serenading with their guitar, violin, and flute. Uh, the second song, O Klirwald, O Cool Forest. The song describes one who is thinking of his love as he is surrounded by the beauty of the woods. We all do that, don't we? <laughs> um, this one is similar, actually. Es hing der, der Reif. Um, the poem describes someone in the woods. The woods is covered with the hoarfrost. And we, we get some great hoarfrost here, don't we? <laughs> Um, and his lover's house is shimmering in the light. Then he sees her and feels warm like spring, but then snaps back to reality and realizes that it is still winter. <laughs> we all kind of feel like that right now. <laughs> um, and finally, Boatschaft means message, and it talks of the wind delivering a message from a lover to his sweetheart far away, hoping that she is thinking... 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go.